Do you know the truth behind Buhari's traveling to Mali? It has been reported that President Momodou Buhari, the president of Nigeria, has traveled to Mali on 23rd of July 2020 with a vision of meeting with the over and other ECOWAS members to discuss and sit on the recent crisis facing Mali. A, res a resistance group, M5, is insisting that the Constitutional Court must be dissolved and the President resign before peace can return to the country. Crisis had erupted after the Court's nullify results of 31 parliamentary seats in the pools ahead recently, awarding victory to some other contenders, which the resistance group said that was had the instigation of President Keita. Riot on, Ju on July 10, 2020 had led to the killing of some protesters by security agents, causing the crisis to, spir to spiral of out of, co of control, hence the intention by ECOWAS. According to the Guardian News, the former Nigerian president, Goodluck Jonathan, was at the state house in the company of president of ECOWAS commission, Mr. Jean Kasi, on Tuesday to brief President Momodou Buhari on the unfolding situation in Mali, necessitating the visit of ECOWAS leaders to consolidate, consolidate on the agreements reached by various parties. We will ask the President of Niger, who is the Chairman of ECOWAS, to brief us as a group, and we will then know the way forward, President Momodou Buhari had said. He thanked Dr. Gulog Jonathan for his comprehensive brief on the situation in Mali, which you had been abreast with since when you were sitting as the president of Nigeria. The president of Nigeria has gone to Mali to defend the, the core value of what he represents. Being among the member of ECOWAS, he is therefore ought to be attending the first visit to Mali to meet with other ECOWAS leaders. The president of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari, hasn't traveled out of the country after February 9, 2020. Therefore, his visit is necessary and important, which was why he ensured he attends the meeting despite the recent pandemic. With the above explanation, I hope you now know the truth behind President Muhammadu Buhari's travel. Don't recline to unreliable and manipulative informations. Take to the comment section to your views and say what you know. Don't say what you don't know. Now you know the importance and the reason why President Muhammadu Buhari traveled to Mali and you can decide on what you have heard. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. But come to think of it, people are dying here every day in, in, in hundreds. They are dying like chickens. Even at the backyard of our so-called president, Muhammadu Buhari. Senseless Senseless traveling to other country to meditate or to mediate in a dispute or act when his country is in is in coerce, when the country is in crisis. Imagine that. Is that a sensible thing? You have a problem in your house. You have a, a, a cockroach on your on your uh, on your head. And instead of removing yours, you are struggling to remove others, other person's own and leaving your own there. That is what I'm, I'm trying to say.
President Mwondo Buhari should have made it a mandate to wipe out this Boko Haram people without even making any uh, uh, mistake. It should have made, made sure that it tackles the issue in this country first, even if the issue is not being tackled fin uh, finally, but it should, it should make plans, it should try and make move before he can, um, uh, he can involve or solve the problems in other country. I call this notice me. Yes. So President Wondwari should keep his house in order instead of going to Mali, going to solve someone's problem and your own problem is still very much large. God will never be happy with, with, uh, with something like that because you, God wants to help you in your country. You are trying to push the, 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 the help, pushing the help backward and helping others. It's definitely f uh, foolish. I'm not insulting President Mohamed Buhari, but I am just saying my mind, and that is it. Someone that cannot cater for himself and is catering for some other person is a f big hypocrite. It's a big hypocrite. I haven't seen such a president before. I've not, I've not had such a president like President Mohamed Buhari before in my own, in my own entire life. Yes, I'm not. Even something that a child cannot do is what they are doing. When I'm not much sure when President Modi Bar is younger, he will definitely be so so adamant and stubborn. When we when we when I was younger, my father had an agreement with my mom over missing money in our house, which resulted to disagreement among all the family members, but he could not um, settle the matter over the years. But when one Mr. Ibrahim had a fight with um, his wife, do you know that my father went to settle that matter? He went ahead and said to them not to fight, not to quarrel. When I, I, I remembered this incident a long time ago, I see my father as if, as someone that does not even um, know anything. Someone that is not even intelligent, is not competent. So this is what I'm, I've, this is this same story about my father and my mother I've just, that I've just said, it's, it goes to our president. It's still talking about our president. Is this trouble in Nigeria not long, not bigger than that of Mali? It is. It's bigger than that of Mali. But I don't know why this student only, um, these people only knows how to, um, poke nose in someone else's issue, leaving their home behind without even making a move or resolving that. I think President Modi Bari should do something about it. He should do something about this. He has gone to Mali and he's back already. I can't say he should not because he's already back. So I hope that he, he, as he has come back, he resolves the crisis in this country. As he's back now, I pray that this country will be a better place again and it will be peaceful. In Jesus' name. So I thank God for everything that is happening in this country. I know that if President Modubari leaves, according to what the PDP chairman says, that President Modubari should resign because he is not capable, he is not competent, because he is taking the security of this country like a no, like a no man business. So since the PDP has said they should resign, I think he should resign and let peace radiate in the country. That is the only solution for peace to reign in Nigeria. So viewers, you have heard it all. What is your take on this news? 
The comment concerning this news is of, of great importance. Don't hesitate to drop your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever I publish new videos. Thank you.